Hello everybody and welcome to That's Football. This is the reaction to Gareth Southgate 28-man squad for the internationals, which is effectively England's last games before the World Cup. And I would say, first of all, he hasn't got a lot wrong, but some of the ones he's got wrong, and he was always going to get some stuff wrong, are a bit of a disgrace. Um, I mean, the Ben White one, I mean, I'm, no, I'm not an Arsenal fan, but Ben White not getting called up for England, and you see people like Connor Cody, and I presume Tyrone Mings is there, and I presume that Harry Maguire is there. Um, no, Mings is not there. Um, I don't know whether he's injured or not, so... Um, I'm surprised he hasn't picked Mings, but um, yeah, Connor Cody has done re relatively well at Everton, but Ben White's a better player. He can play right back, he can play centre back. Um, I, I disagree with that, but um, also Jaden Sancho, I think that I think he should have been called up, and it's worrying for Marcus Rashford. But you know, in the I mean, Dean Henderson's going to be very happy. He's in the squad. But um, that's because, obviously, Jordan Pickford's injured. So Henderson, Pope, Ramsdale are the goalkeepers. Don't have a massive problem with them, to be honest. Defenders, you've got Trent, Chilwell, Connor Cody, Eric Dyer, Gwehi, Rhys James, Maguire, Shaw, Stones, Tamori, Trippier and Kyle Walker. I mean, there are 12 defenders picked out of a squad of 28. I mean, this is Gareth Southgate's England. The back five, he's only picked five midfielders. He's picked 12 defenders because he loves a back five it makes me want to tear my hair out I, I, I should look like pep i mean the back five and gareth southgate as england manager when we've got so much talent um you know get rid of a couple of those defenders and put another couple of attackers in get and i know rashford injury is the issue i get that but is he out of contention now who's been called up Instead of Rashford, is it you know is it a sympathy vote? I would have took Sancho instead of one of the defenders because it's a it's a chance to have. I mean, basically what he's doing to Ben White and Jaden Sancho is, is saying you're not going to be part of the World Cup. I mean, that's basically it. Unless there's a major injury crisis, you could add James Madison into that as well. Um, I think that's the mistake. I don't think that um, I don't think that he's got a lot wrong with that squad, but it's very defensive focused. Um, it's very favourite focused, and I just think a squad. You're basically closing the door on Ben White and Jaden Sancho and James Madison and any other player that you can think of that might be worthy of a call up. You're closing the door and saying you're not going to the World Cup, and that to me just sounds a you know a bit a bit silly. Twelve defenders, get another attacker in. I mean, to be honest with you, um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I've got to say, even as a Man United fan, Luke Shaw. I mean, that's how bad we are at left back. Luke Shaw has been called up. He's, he, I don't think he's he's barely kicked a ball for Man United this season, and when he has, he's been really bad. Yet he's part of the England squad. You, I mean, look, Harry Maguire was always going to get picked. I don't have a problem with Harry Maguire getting picked. He does tend to play well for England because we play a back four, back four, back five. Um, but I've got to say that, that there will be a few people who are, who are feeling a sense of injustice. I mean, there must be a left back that's fit in English who's been playing better than Luke Shaw this season. But no, Southgate is that traditionalist coach. There are quite a few like it who like to stick with their favourites. And the problem is when you stick with your favourites, it gets exposed when those favourites are spending a lot of time on the bench. Luke Shaw's been on the bench. Harry Maguire's been on the bench. Calvin Phillips has been on the bench. He's in the midfield. So look, Southgate's argument, and some people will agree with it, is that these are the players that got me to the World Cup. But favourites over form? I don't know. I don't know. Um, as I say, that's the defence. Midfield, only five picked. Bellingham, Mount, Phillips, Rice, Ward-Prowse. Would it have been worth sticking a James Madison in there? Would it have been worth sticking somebody else in there? I mean, or are we just bereft of midfielders uh, for England? I mean, five doesn't seem anywhere near enough, but that's the five that we're going to go with. There may have been, it may well, I mean, look, if you pick up an injury, you're going to have to bring somebody into that. I suppose the genius is that Eric Dyer can play in midfield. So that sort of covers that off, I suppose. Eric Dyer definitely deserves a call up as well. Let's call out some of the, the positive ones. Tamori, I was a bit worried about him, had to be called up. But... I've got to be honest, um, I think that whilst people might be going, I'll stop moaning, it's not that bad, I can already see who is going to who, who ain't going to go to the World Cup. There's players in here like, I, I mean, I don't know whether he's going to take Tamori. I think he'll take Cody, uh, Maguire, um, Carl Walker will be used as a centre-back. Yeah, I think it will be between Eric Dyer and Tamori as to whether they go, because that squad's got to get trimmed quite a bit still. Uh, the midfield we've covered, Bellingham, Mount, Phillips, Rice, Ward, Prowse, and then the attackers... Ivan Tony's in there, good. Tom, uh, Tammy Abraham's in there, good. Uh, Phil Foden, yes. Jack Grealish, yes. Harry Kane, yes. Saka, yes. Jared Bowen, really? Um, 
I like Bowen, but you could have picked Sancho. Like, you you could have picked uh, Sancho in there, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm a little bit surprised that he he wouldn't just look. I'm a bit biased. I'm a Man United fan. There are United fans out there that think Sancho's not had a great start to the season. He scored two goals. He's a lot better. He's playing in a better system. I just don't see why you wouldn't take him. If you're going to take Jared Bowen, you've got to take Sancho, in my opinion. You don't. You might not take either of them to the World Cup. In fact, I do feel that that might be Rashford's route in. But I would, although it shouldn't be Rashford's route in, actually. I'll come back to that in a minute. But it's the last squad before the World Cup. And as I say, it's a disgrace that he's basically closed the door on people like Ben White and Jaden Sancho when I would have had him as part of the squad. Take a 30-man squad. Does it really matter? Like, get a look at them. See what they're like. To just close the door and say, no, I'm not going to have a look. I mean, it's only, what, 18 months since the Euros when Jaden Sancho was part of that. And now he's not. And I agree with players not being part of it because of, based on form. But you're picking favourites who, who aren't in form, who are sat on their bench. I think it's wrong. I think, I, look, the sooner Southgate moves on from England, the better. I, if we win the World Cup, I'll sit here and say I got it wrong. But tell me a Premier League club that would employ him. He's ridiculously defence-minded. Um, he's ridiculously favourite-minded. It's favouritism over form a lot of the time. And I just, I don't actually look at that attack and go, yeah, that, that's, that, that, that's got enough in it. I mean... We were having this debate on the United stand this morning about whether Rashford would make it. As a United fan, I'm quite happy that he's not there because of the injury. I still think he's got a chance of going to the World Cup. Um, Tammy Abraham or Ivan Toni, only one of them will go. And Rashford could still take their place uh, as the striker stroke wide player off the left. But, um, you know, Grealish, Foden, Sterling, they're definitely going to go. Um, Jared Bowen. That's a spot that I really would have been having to look at Jaden Sancho as well. And I'm very disappointed with that. Um, I suppose I've got to clarify where Ben White would fit in. Um, for me, Ben White should be there instead of um, someone like a Connor Cody, uh, really. I think uh, I'm not a big fan of Connor Cody. I think he does a good job for Everton. I don't think he's England international standard. But what I will say, he's a very good player. I just, you know, my, in my opinion, I wouldn't take him over Ben White. But what I will say is, and I know this firsthand, Connor Cody is really good in the dressing room. Like they really like his personality, and we know that Southgate likes this. This is this is why he always picks Mings, although he hasn't picked Mings this time. I don't know whether Mings has got an injury or he's just not in form enough or whatever. Um, but yeah, look, I'm I'm this I'm 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 pretty I'm not disappointed. I'm pretty happy with the squad. I think we're a little bit short in the midfield, but look, we've got Bellingham. That's the main thing. James Ward-Prowse definitely deserves to be there. Calvin Phillips has hardly played, but he was always going to get there. Um, but I, I would have, t I do think it's wrong not to have Ben White and not to have Jaden Sancho there. I think they're both worthy of a call up. When you look at some of the players that have been picked, I'd be a little bit frustrated. And, and there may well be other players. I mean, look, look at Germany. They've picked uh, Bella Koch up in their squad. He's only had a handful of games in the Premier League. He's been fantastic straight into the squad. There may be a few players who are thinking, look, I've had a good start to the season. But it shows you how weak we are at left-back. Chilwell's on the bench for Chelsea. Luke Shaw's on the bench for Manchester United, both into the squad. Um, Harry Maguire's on the bench for, for Man United. Calvin Phillips is on the bench for Man City, both in the squad. Um, you know, what, what do we expect with Southgate? He does do that sort of thing. But in the main, he's not got a lot wrong with that squad. It's a 28-man squad. It's hard not to get it wrong. I mean, God, you know, he has picked Ivan Toni. I, I respect that. Tammy Abraham, yeah, that's good. But I would have sucked Sancho. You know, Sancho has been a lot better for Manchester United this season. And he is a player that's been part of previous squads. And I, I, I just think if Jared Bowen's there, then Jaden Sancho's got to be there. And and, and he, he basically has slammed the door on his World Cup chances now. Um, and I think that's wrong. I think you should be keeping that door open. I would have took a 30-man squad. I really would. Um I'd have found a way, really, but obviously he hasn't. So get your comments in below. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, I've had mine. In the main, it's not a bad squad. I don't agree. I don't disagree with a lot of it, obviously. But there's a few players there that are there for favourite. Well, look, I don't mind him picking favourites, but give everybody else a bit of a chance as well. Um, very defensive side. We knew that would be that very defensive squad. The midfield's good. The attack has got more or less the right people in it. I think Rashford definitely would have been there. But if Rashford's not there, why not just take Sancho anyway? Weird, weird. And I do I do sympathise with Ben White and Arsenal fans. I think I would have had him in. I think he's a very good centre-back and he's better than two or three of the centre-backs that are in that squad. But, you know, 
Southgate will use the whole favourites and um, these are the players that got me to the World Cup. But a lot of those players are out of form or on the bench. Interesting. Get your comments in below.